Hi, welcome to Graphics Card Repairs. My name is Fraser, and today we have XFX Swift RX 6800 XT that is reported with no display. It's a basic looking card, but this card has come all the way from Algeria. The user said that this card was stuck in customs for over a month, and when he installed this card on his PC, there was no display. Let's test this card on my test bench and run memtunes for this GPU. The image you see is from the iGPU and not from the graphics card. Let me quit the menu and get into the root directory. First, I will check if the GPU is detected by running the command lspci. We can see from the results that the GPU is detected as it shows us advanced micro devices. That means our GPU has been recognized. Now moving into the RX 6800 folder, I will run memtunes to test the memory. The command, I will flash it on the screen if you would like to make a note of it. It is running the test, so I will wait for the test to finish. So we have the results. The faulty channels is showing as E0 and E1. Let me quickly shut this thing down and quickly dismantle the GPU. Uh oh I can see that someone has already worked on this GPU. This memory does not have the black seal like the other memories at the side. Let me switch to the microscope. Yes, I see flux around the capacitors. This black seal is missing from the memory. The chip is of the same batch as others on the left. So it looks like someone has reballed the memory and installed again. So let's count the memory. So that's channel A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it's time to remove the reported faulty memory. So let's start with the repair. Okay, I see broken pads. Let's take a closer look. These pads looks like from the memory chip and not from the PCB. There you go, four broken pads on the memory. Okay, let's clean the solder from the board and continue with our repair. Looks like two more pads have just vanished. So it could be that they were loose. And uh, so while I was wicking the pads, they just uh, came off. It's good that they came out now. So, you know, we can fix them. Let's repair the pads first.
Okay, so the pads have been repaired and it's now time to replace the memory. The memory has been installed. I will wait for the car to cool down and then measure the resistance. The car has cooled. Let me measure the resistance. It's about 16.6 .6 ohms, which is good enough. I will put this card back on the test bench and test it. The GPU is on the test bench and this time I have switched the display to the GPU directly and not the iGPU. There you go, there's our image. So I'll turn this thing off and uh, assemble this card now. Let me quickly clean and assemble this GPU. The GPU has been assembled. Let's put it back on our test bench and uh, run a few tests. I will first load into Windows and wait for the drivers to install. Now that the drivers have installed, I will run some benchmarks and check if the GPU is stable. I will first run Superposition, Firmark, and heavens. So our GPU looks to be stable and working just the way it should. I hope you enjoyed watching this repair video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit that bell for more content like this. You can also support this channel by contributing monthly by clicking the join button or using the thanks option for a one-time contribution. Your support means a lot to me and will help me to continue to create more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Cheers.